Please note that we are not sponsored by anyone in this video. Well, me and the crew made it down to Annapolis, Maryland for the International Sailboat Show. It is something I've always wanted to go to and was on my bucket list. I stopped by the Sailrite booth and checked out their new sewing machine. These are by far got to be the best sewing machines for sailboaters. I am a huge fan of YouTube sailing channels and to be able to go to the boat show and meet all these people I've been watching for years was just thrilling. I got the chance to meet Ryan and Sophie at the Dakota Lithium booth. Uh, Ryan is one of the founders of the company. He has done some great videos on the technical side of batteries and their adventures are always exciting. Lauren and Kirk are smart young professionals who have embraced the sailboat cruising lifestyle. Watching their channel, you get to know them and their philosophy of life. They have recently just had a child and they are moving up from their Tartan 37 to a more stable platform. I handed my camera to someone in the crowd to shoot a picture of me with Taylor. They did not know what they were doing and uh, there was no photos taken on my camera. This is a uh, frame that I got from a video that the Evans were doing of the booth at the show. Uh, it was a real pleasure meeting Taylor. She is such a uh, down-to-earth and genuine person, just a really sweet person. Sailing Vessel Basic. These guys are a great family. I've been watching them from years, watching Emma grow up. Lynn is an incredible cook and I have written down some of her recipes that she does on the show and I have uh, made them. They are wonderful. Um, Teal does incredibly detailed work on his boat. The fiberglassing he's done I've learned so much from and his wiring is so precise and neatly done. It is, it is a artwork in itself. I have been watching Duca and Roberta since they were making their little house uh, in Brazil. They found a abandoned boatyard boat that was in awful shape and they have restored it beautifully. They intend to sail up the coast and I'm really hoping they make it up into New England. Uh, the interaction between them on the show is just wonderful. It's just so amusing and they're so real and natural and wonderful people. Steve and Judy are professional documentary filmmakers. They bring an incredibly good quality to their channel. Judy concentrates on bringing you the culture of the areas which they visit and you really get a feel for the towns and the scenery where they go. 
Uh, Steve is more of the um, techie person and does wonderful videos on the technical side of the boat and sailing and equipment. Um, they are also a minority in that they are um, closer to the age of the people who actually do this. Uh, most of the channels are very young, but that's not who is out there cruising. This is my friend Brian and his longtime friend Sharon Day, president of Catalina Yachts. We ran into this booth where they're making a really small, very lightweight little electric engine for uh, dinghies. Uh, we thought we'd uh, let the man who designed it tell you something about it. Hi, I'm Joe, founder of uh, Propel Electric Boat Motors, and this is our product, EP Carry Electric Outboard, super lightweight. Uh, it's designed for those applications where the motor is mounted each time you use it, you know, so it's very easy and quick to mount, 14 pounds for the motor. And then the battery uh, sits in a bag in front of the motor, and that weighs 6 pounds, so it's 20 pounds altogether. Kind of getting back to the old two-stroke days. Uh, at full power, that's hull speed on most dinghies, so uh, if your dinghy has a hull speed of 3.6 knots, that's how fast you're going. You get an hour and 10 minutes of runtime from the waterproof battery. Um, the battery comes in a bag that's a, uh, it's a buoyant bag, so we call it our battery flotation device, a BFD. Uh, so when you drop the battery overboard, you can recover it. Everything's waterproof and uh, survivable. It runs for an hour and 10 minutes at full power, two hours at half power, like this, and, uh, and four hours and 40 minutes at quarter power, like that, which is still around two and a half knots. So check us out, we're online. I bought in a Mantis Anchor and put it on our boat, and we've been thrilled with it. So I stopped by the Mantis booth. What you're looking at, this is our eight pound stainless steel model. This is our breakdown, this is our largest model that breaks down without nuts and bolts for dinghies or for that small sailboat that's racing that needs something small that they can stow and break down fairly easily. Maybe we put in the back, this might be for you. Our bigger ones don't go together as easy, but it's the same concept of just four attachment points that are strong enough for the chain that you're going to use on. It just makes it very simple. Ah, don't put it backwards. Don't do it with sweaty hands, right? And then back together. Now, obviously our big boat ones don't do that. Our big boat ones have bolts. Each one of those bolts is stronger than the chain that you would use on this anchor. We got four bolts, so pretty strong. You all know about how much it resets and how easy that is. So we've got quite the range to get you, whether you got a power boat, a sailboat, a 50-foot boat, or 10 foot I've been in the market looking around for a lightweight dinghy. This one comes in at um, well under 50 pounds. Um, it is a consideration. There are two that look just like this. One's made in New Zealand, one's made in China. Uh, the one in China is slightly cheaper, but it has a U.S. distributor, so it will be much easier to register. We will see what we do. By far, my favorite boat at this boat show was the Tartan 395. This is a panoramic view of the interior. This boat has everything I possibly could want. It is beautifully put together, it is strong and seaworthy, and it is a wonderful boat. The bargain at the show were these boat hooks. West Marine were selling the boat hooks at their booth for $15. That is truly a bargain. Okay. 
all good things must come to an end and we hike back to the car boat hooks in hand <laughs>